In 1970, in Hong Kong, there was a policeman who did not want to be bribed by a mobster named Guy Yan, so Guy Yan ordered his younger brother, named Dao Ba, to kill the policeman. Hearing that, Dao Ba immediately stabbed the policeman in the stomach. Meanwhile, there was a woman named Qin Cheng. She was the policeman's sister who saw Dao Ba stabbed her brother. Dao Ba realized that Qin Cheng saw what he did to the policeman. Dao Ba boldly raped Xin Cheng in front of her dying brother. After he vented his lust, Dao Ba ordered his men to throw Qin Cheng's brother from the second floor until he died. Qin Cheng who saw that screamed hysterically, sadly, and angrily at the same time against those wicked people. A while later, Qin Cheng who was still grieving for his brother welcomed two male guests. They were Qin Cheng's brother's co-workers who were also policemen. They gave Qin Cheng compensation money for the death of her brother. In addition, the purpose of their visit was to convey that the police were unable to arrest Dao Ba because Guy Yan had taken control of the city. Guy Yan even bribed the corrupt policeman. When Qin Cheng heard that, she was angry and sent the two policemen away. The next morning, Qin Cheng, who felt it was useless to report her brother's death to the police, decided to meet Guy Yan's business rival named Hai Hu. As Qin Cheng arrived at Hai Hu's headquarters, she saw that the mobster was torturing a man who was Gai Yan's man. It was revealed that Gai Yan's men had been dealing drugs in Hai Hu's territory. When Hai Hu saw Qin Cheng, he remembered his wife who had died from saving Hai Hu. Then, Qin approached him and handed him a wad of money. Qin conveyed her purpose of coming to meet Hai Hu, which was to ask for help so that Hai Hu would finish off Gai Yan in Dao Ba. When he saw Xin with the money, Hai Hu said that he didn't lack money. Hearing that, King Cheng intended to give her body to Hai Hu so that he would help King Cheng get revenge. But Hai Hu explained that he was surrounded by many women in his life. Then Hai Hu gave a condition so that he would help King Cheng take revenge. The condition was that King Cheng had to kill Gai Yan's men whom Hai Hu was torturing. But King Cheng, who had never committed a crime, made King Cheng unable to kill the man. So, Hai Hu intervened to kill the man who almost killed King Cheng. After that, Hai Hu said that the former King Cheng was dead and the current King Cheng belonged to Hai Hu and had to obey all his orders. Then Hai Hu trained King Cheng to become a reliable cold-blooded killing knife. On the other hand, at Dao Ba's headquarters, there was a policeman named Chen. Dao Ba cruelly tortured him because Chen was an honest policeman. Chen always interfered with Gai Yan's drug business. He also refused to accept money from Gai Yan. Not long after, a woman with a sexy appearance like a prostitute came. This fascinated Dao Ba and his men. Dao Ba didn't realize that it was Qin Cheng who Dao Ba had raped in the past. When he saw Qin Cheng's beauty, Dao Ba couldn't resist and asked her to spend time with him. King Cheng followed Dao Ba, who invited her to the room. At that moment, King Cheng thrust a knife into Dao Ba's stomach. However, Dao Ba was still able to block her with his hand. Dao Ba realized that she wanted to kill him. Then a fight happened between King Cheng and Dao Ba, who still survived. In the middle of the fight, King Cheng told Chen to untie him and escape by using Dao Ba's fallen knife. Then King Cheng faced Dao Ba's men, who prevented her from killing Dao Ba, the bad guy. After finishing off many of Dao's men, King Cheng went back to see Dao Ba. King Cheng counted every bullet that Dao Ba shot at her. When King Cheng realized that Dao Ba's bullets had run out, King Cheng immediately beat and finished Dao Ba. Before that, King Cheng slashed Dao Ba's body quickly and pushed him from the second floor to his death. King Cheng went back to see Hai Hu after Dao Ba was killed. King Cheng brought Dao Ba's chopped finger that Hai Hu asked for, but Hai Hu was angry because he knew that King Cheng just let Chen go. It turned out that Hai Hu wanted the death of Chen, who continuously disrupted his business. Then Hai Hu told his men to deliver Dao Ba's cut finger to Gai Yan. When Gai Yan got Dao Ba's finger, he was upset and vented his anger on Dao Ba's men, who were still alive. Some of Gai Yan's business partners who were there tried to calm him down. They advised Gai Yan to find a way to finish off Hai Hu because they knew that his opponent was getting more and more vicious and powerful. 
One of Gai Yan's business partners also warned him that Hai Hu's target after Dao Ba must be Gai Yan. When he heard that, instead of finding a solution, Gai Yan hurt one of his business partners. At the same time, a woman came to see Gai Yan. The woman was the owner of the biggest whorehouse there. It revealed that she used to be Hai Hu's lady, but Hai Hu dumped her so the woman betrayed and chose Gai Yan. When the woman arrived at Gai Yan's place, she tried to calm him down. She also suggested that Gai Yan should pay the police to locate the anti-drug demonstrators at Hai Hu's headquarters. That way, Hai Hu's business would be disrupted and he would attack Gai Yan. Then she planned to order her men who worked with Hai Hu to kill him. After the woman conveyed her suggestion, she tried to calm Gai Yan's emotions. While she waited for all her plans to take place, the woman entertained Gai Yan with her new girls. The next day, anti-drug demonstrators, led by Bang An, demonstrated in front of Hai Hu's headquarters. Seeing that Hai Hu was annoyed that his men could not distribute drugs. This was because Hai Hu's headquarters was heavily guarded by the police who were bribed by Gai Yan. In order to send the demonstrators away, Hai Hu bribed some policemen so that the demonstration wouldn't continue. Then Hai Hu told King Cheng to finish off Bang because he had made Hai Hu suffer losses. However, King Cheng refused Hai Hu's request. She said that she would only kill Gai Yan and his men. Hai Hu, who heard a refusal, then got angry at King Cheng. He said that he was the one who made King Cheng like the current King Cheng. So, whether King Cheng wanted to or not, King Cheng needed to obey Hai Hu's orders. By the evening, Hai Hu mobilized all his men to attack Gai Yan's factory. After they managed to knock out Gai Yan's men, Hai Hu then ordered Gai Yan's men to serve Hai Hu. He then gave them a lot of money so that they would work for Hai Hu. Meanwhile, Gu Yan enjoyed himself at the prostitute's house. He didn't realize that his factory was taken over by Hai Hu. At the same time, King Chen brought Bang's severed finger to Hai Hu as proof that she killed Bang. But unexpectedly, the man of the prostitute who worked for Hai Hu was about to shoot him. King Cheng who saw that tried to protect Hai Hu. However, it was Hai Hu who sacrificed himself to save King Cheng. Then Hai Hu was shot and hospitalized. Hai Hu had surgery and was unconscious. All of Hai Hu's men panicked and were afraid that Hai Hu wouldn't get better. At the prostitute's house, Guai Yan, who got the information that Hai Hu was hospitalized, immediately ordered his men to take control of Hai Hu's territory. In addition, Gai Yan also ordered his men to finish off Hai Hu, who was in the hospital. Back at the hospital, King Cheng accompanied Hai Hu, who was still unconscious. In addition, there were Hai Hu's men named De Ma and A Bao informed King Cheng that Hai Hu's men were getting pushed back due to Gai Yan's attacks. They were also worried that if Hai Hu didn't wake up in a few days, then his men would lose. King Cheng then asked them to be patient as the doctor said that Hai Hu would soon recover. After that, King Cheng told them to stand guard outside the room in case any of Gai Yan's men attacked them. At the same time, De Ma and Abao walked out, there was a nurse who was about to enter Hai Hu's room. She was about to inject a liquid into Hai Hu's body. Fortunately, King Cheng realized that the nurse was a bit strange. King Cheng then beat her unconscious. After they heard the commotion, Abao and De Ma went back to Hai Hu's room. When they saw the nun, they realized that she was the prostitute house owner's henchwoman. When King Cheng knew that, King Cheng was annoyed. She told her two men to take care of Hai Hu. Meanwhile, King Cheng went to the woman who owned the prostitute house. Shortly after, King Cheng arrived at the woman's place. Instantly, the woman offered King Cheng money so that she would cooperate with Gai Yan. King Cheng firmly refused the offer. She immediately said that she just wanted Gai Yan to die. Hearing that, Gai Yan's woman invited King Cheng to fight because there can only be one leader and one leader's wife in a city. Before the fight, the woman invited King Cheng to drink wine as a final honor for whoever would die in the fight. After drinking, King Cheng immediately broke the glass and started the fight. Until in the middle of the fight, King Cheng lost consciousness because in reality, King Cheng's glass had been given an anesthetic. Then when the woman was about to shoot King Cheng, Hai Hu came and instantly shot the woman. After that, 
Hai Hu gave a necklace to King Cheng. He said that King Cheng wasn't his killing knife anymore. Hai Hu wanted to take King Cheng as his wife. He also announced that his men should call King Cheng as sister-in-law. Moreover, everything King Cheng said must be obeyed by the men. After that, Hai Hu and King Cheng spent the night together. Thereafter, Hai Hu asked King Cheng to help him do business like a Westerner. There was a revelation that in those days Westerners were known as the masters and controllers of illegal drugs. Also, Hai Hu was ambitious to become a leader so that he could take Westerners as his men. The next day, King Cheng took all the men to Gai Yan's headquarters in order to kill him. When they arrived, they found that Gai Yan's men were already lined up waiting for King Cheng's arrival. Then a fight happened between King Cheng's men and Gai Yan's men. They brutally beat each other. Soon King Cheng went to meet Gai Yan. She felt no fear at all when Gai Yan threatened King Cheng with gunfire. King Cheng then said that if she died that day, at least she had to kill Gai Yan. Hearing this, Gai Yan immediately asked why King Cheng seemed to have a grudge against him so that King Cheng killed Dou Ba and was ambitious to kill Gai Yan. She firmly told him that she was the younger sister of the policeman that Gai Yan and Dou Ba killed. Even Dou Ba also took away King Cheng's virginity in front of her brother. Hearing that, Gai Yan laughed because it was actually not just Gai Yan and Dou Ba who were involved in that case. However, while they were talking seriously, Hai Hu came with Gai Yan's business partners who chose to cooperate with Hai Hu. They chose Hai Hu because they would get a bigger profit than doing business with Gai Yan. King Cheng, who was already curious about Gai Yan's words about the people involved in her brother's murder, ignored Hai Hu's arrival. Gui Yan then continued his story that King Cheng's brother dared to fight against the drug trafficking that targeted Gai Yan as well as Hai Hu, so he had to be killed. But before Gai Yan could continue the story, Hai Hu shot Gai Yan dead in the head. This made King Cheng suspicious if Hai Hu was also related to the murder of her brother. Later, Hai Hu met his men. He said that all the territories were already his. He also asked all his men to work hard because Hai Hu would reward them. A few days later, Hai Hu's illegal drug business was growing. The drugs were distributed all over Hong Kong. Hai Hu also didn't forget how hard his men worked. He provided enough benefits so that his men were loyal to Hai Hu. One day, King Cheng saw Hai Hu, who prayed for his dead wife. King Cheng saw a photo of Hai Hu's wife, which turned out to be very similar to her. Moreover, King Cheng heard that Hai Hu trained King Cheng in order to take revenge on Gai Yan as well. Then, King Cheng heard that Gai Yan was the one who killed Hai Hu when his wife wanted to protect him. So that Hai Hu made King Cheng his wife because she has a very much similar face to his dead wife. Hai Hu also planned to continue controlling King Cheng after she got her revenge on Gai Yan. Then Hai Hu told a Bao to kill the policeman named Chen who had interfered with his business. He also told a Bao to keep this plan a secret from King Cheng since that time she released Chen. This was clearly heard by King Cheng which made her annoyed. At night, King Cheng helped Chen who was about to be killed by Hai Hu's men. Seeing that King Cheng came and helped him made Chen confused. This was because Chen knew that the woman was Hai Hu's subordinate. Then King Cheng firmly explained that she did all of this to take revenge for the death of her older brother, who was Chen's partner. After they talked, Chen took Xing Cheng to a hidden rehabilitation center that Chen had built. When King Cheng arrived there, she felt sad because she saw many people who were trying to recover from drug addiction. King Cheng even saw a mother accompanying her son to recover from the addiction. King Cheng didn't expect that there was a bang still alive in that place because apparently King Cheng didn't kill him. Instead, King Cheng only cut off his little finger and gave it to Hai Hu. Bang looked angry at King Cheng because she also played a role in Hai Hu's drug distribution. Seeing King Cheng who was sad and confused with herself, Chen then advised her. He said that actually King Cheng just wanted revenge for his brother's death. Chen also knew that only Hai Hu could help King Cheng to get the revenge, but Chen knew very well that King Cheng was a good person. Chen suggested King Cheng stop helping Hai Hu's business. 
Thereafter, Chen invited King Cheng to have dinner together with the residents of the rehabilitation center. King Cheng, who didn't feel peace and togetherness for a long time, then felt sad. She remembered the time with her brother when they had eaten simple food, but they were very happy. However, when King Cheng ate, she felt nauseous. One of the ladies there said that King Cheng was most likely pregnant. She was shocked to know that. She immediately went to Hai Hu's factory. She told the workers to get out of there. King Cheng then placed the necklace that Hai Hu gave her in front of the photo of Hai Hu's dead wife. Then King Cheng burned down the factory while she was still inside the factory. Then everyone thought that King Cheng was burnt to death inside the factory. The next morning, Hai Hu came to the factory. He was furious to see his drugs burned down. He then searched for the whereabouts of King Cheng's corpse. However, he didn't find King Cheng's corpse. Hai Hu was convinced that King Cheng was still alive. Then he saw that King Cheng's necklace was there. Hai Hu concluded that King Cheng already knew that Hai Hu was also related to her brother's death. In addition, Hai Hu believed that King Cheng knew that he used King Cheng. After Hai Hu's factory burned down, he immediately went into massive business. He unified and monopolized the drug business in Hong Kong. Three months later, King Cheng, who chose to live in Chen's rehabilitation center, found a peaceful life. King Cheng hoped that after her child was born, the child would be a good one. A woman tried to bring King Cheng closer to Bang. Thus, King Cheng's child would get a father figure. Later, when King Cheng was taking care of one of the drug addicts, Bang kept watching King Cheng. Although Bang didn't realize it, he was already in love with King Cheng. The more Bang knew that King Cheng was a good person who was only enslaved by Hai Hu for revenge. Then Bang boldly confessed his feelings to King Cheng. He would give King Cheng a happy life. Before she could answer, Dima and Abao came to the place. Finally, there was a commotion in the rehabilitation center because the two of them intended to destroy the place. When Bang heard the commotion, he asked King Cheng to stay in the room, while Bang tried to stop the two of them. Unfortunately, Hai Hu's men could easily take out Bang. Then Hai Hu's two men tricked a young boy with drugs. They told the boy to kill his mother, then he would get free drugs. However, Bang stopped the boy. At the same time, one of Hai Hu's men stabbed a knife into Bang's stomach. King Cheng, who couldn't hold her emotions, immediately beat up Hai Hu's men. How surprised they were to see Xing Cheng, who was hiding in that place. Then Dima said that King Cheng wasn't their sister-in-law anymore. Then King Cheng approached Bang, who was dying. Bang apologized to King Cheng because he couldn't give her a peaceful life. After that, King Cheng decided to fight them all. However, King Cheng was kicked by Hai Hu's men and fell down. Chen then took Xing Cheng to the hospital. Later that night, when King Cheng woke up, she got the bad news that the child in her pregnancy couldn't be saved. After hearing that, King Cheng asked Chen to take her home. When they arrived at the rehabilitation center, Chen and King Cheng saw that the place was destroyed. King Cheng was very sad to know that. Moreover, all the people who lived in the rehabilitation center died due to attacks from Hai Hu's men. Chen then told King Cheng that he had investigated Hai Hu. He found out that Hai Hu teamed up with Gai Yan to kill King Cheng's brother. They did it because they knew that King Cheng's brother would destroy both of their businesses. After the death of King Cheng's brother, Hai Hu's business got even bigger. Meanwhile, Gai Yan secretly wanted to kill Hai Hu. However, Hai Hu's wife sacrificed her life to save Hai Hu from Gai Yan's shot. Therefore, due to the death of Hai Hu's wife, Hai Hu and Gai Yan's friendship became strained. Then Chen said that in three days the police would arrest Hai Hu because Chen's clean politics proposal had been approved. In fact, the police would destroy the drug business in Hong Kong. A few days later, Hai Ho's men cleaned up the drugs in the factory. They also lost the bribe book they had made to the corrupt police. Shortly thereafter, Hai Hu got information that his business partner had been arrested. Hearing that Hai Hu could only surrender, then Hai Hu told Abao to take all the money and their men away from there. Unfortunately, the police led by Chen managed to surround the factory. Finally, there was a fight between the police and Abao's side. 
Meanwhile, King Cheng suddenly came when some of Hai Hu's men were destroying drugs. Then King Cheng asked them to not prevent her from meeting Hai Hu. But then one of Hai Hu's men pointed a gun at King Cheng. This made King Cheng angry and finished them all off quickly. Then King Cheng approached Hai Hu, who sat casually to finish his meal. Hai Hu, who saw King Cheng coming, immediately asked why she did all this when Hai Hu had already made King Cheng a respectable woman. King Cheng firmly said that whether marrying a person who killed her brother and destroyed the lives of many people was called honorable. Hai Hu, who heard that, then said that he was indeed a bad person. He also invited King Cheng to kill him. Then there was a tense close range shootout. In the middle of the fight, King Cheng asked if Hai Hu had ever loved her. But Hai Hu said that he only thought King Cheng was his wife's shadow. He also said that King Cheng was unable to kill him because King Cheng's ability was from his teachings. Hearing that King Cheng threatened Hai Hu by saying that he would see his disciple would kill him. However, King Cheng apparently forgot to count the bullets that came out of the gun. So King Cheng was unable to shoot Hai Hu. Then there was a fight between them who were both emotional. This time they used swords to fight. When King Cheng succeeded in paralyzing Hai Hu, King Cheng remembered that the two of them had said that they would be together forever. So King Cheng took the sword and stabbed her stomach until it went through Hai Hu's body. They ended up dying at the same time. Together with that, the drug business that destroyed the lives of many people also ended.